The oceans covering more than 70% of Earth's surface have always been the planet's silent guardians. They regulate climate, feed billions, absorb carbon dioxide, and balance the fragile systems that make human life possible. But in 2025, those same oceans are telling us a story we cannot ignore, a story written in heat, acid, and dead zones that grow wider each passing year. The numbers are not just statistics. They are alarms ringing louder than ever. Last year, 2024, officially became the hottest year on record, with ocean temperatures breaking through ceilings that scientists once thought were decades away. And instead of slowing down, 2025 has opened with the same scorching trajectory pushing sea surface temperatures to levels that shatter even the grim records of last year. The ocean heat has not been isolated to one region or season. It has wrapped itself around the globe. By the end of 2024, scientists confirmed that more than 90% of the world's oceans experienced marine heat waves. And so far in 2025, the trend has only intensified. Once, these heat waves were rare events. Now they are practically permanent. Some waters, particularly in the North Atlantic, the Mediterranean, and parts of the Pacific, have been simmering at levels so extreme that they stunned even veteran climatologists. Cold spells nature's relief valves have nearly disappeared, with only a handful of days registering cooler conditions. The oceans are now like an overheated engine that never shuts down, straining under pressure and showing cracks that threaten to break the entire system. Coral reefs, often called the rainforests of the sea, are among the most tragic casualties of this relentless heating. In 2024, scientists reported the most widespread coral bleaching ever observed, stretching from Australia's Great Barrier Reef to reefs in the Caribbean and the Red Sea. Bleaching occurs when stressed corals expel the algae they depend on for survival, turning them ghostly white. Once rare, mass bleaching events are now annual leaving vast sections of once thriving ecosystems reduced to skeletal graveyards. In 2025, the damage continues to accelerate, with early surveys already showing another global bleaching event unfolding, making it one of the few times in history that back-to-back -back mass bleaching has spanned consecutive years at this scale. And when reefs die, it is not just the corals that vanish, it is the millions of species, from fish to crustaceans, that depend on them for survival, and the coastal communities whose livelihoods and food security collapse alongside them. The consequences ripple far beyond reefs. The heating oceans are starving marine life of oxygen expanding vast, underwater deserts known as dead zones. These lifeless areas, already widespread in 2024, are projected to cover even larger swaths in 2025, with hotspots in the Gulf of Mexico, the Arabian Sea, and parts of East Asia growing alarmingly fast. Fish and other creatures either flee or suffocate, triggering cascading effects on global fisheries. For the billions of people who rely on seafood as a primary source of protein, this is not just an ecological crisis, it is a food security emergency unfolding in real time. But heat is only one part of the story. As oceans absorb increasing amounts of carbon dioxide from human activity, they are becoming more acidic. Ocean acidification, often called climate change's twin crisis, is eating away at the very building blocks of marine life. Shellfish, plankton, and corals are finding it harder to form the calcium carbonate structures they need to survive. By early 2025, new studies revealed that acidification in parts of the Pacific had already reached levels that were not expected until the 2030s. This means the future scientists warned us about has arrived a decade early, compressing the timeline and forcing humanity into a fight it is unprepared for. The disruption doesn't stop underwater. The heating of the oceans directly fuels extreme weather events on land. Hurricanes and cyclones draw their power from warm water. And in 2024, we witnessed storms that rapidly intensified from mild systems to monster hurricanes in just hours, leaving communities little time to prepare. With 2025 following the same thermal patterns, meteorologists warn that this could be yet another year of storms that defy forecasting models and devastate coastlines with record-breaking winds, rain, and storm surges. Rising sea levels, 
fueled by both thermal expansion of water and the accelerated melting of glaciers, amplify the destruction. Coastal cities from Miami to Jakarta, from Karachi to Venice, are now living on borrowed time, watching tides creep higher each year, while defenses built for past climates crumble under today's new extremes. Perhaps the most chilling part of the story is the feedback loop. As oceans grow hotter, their ability to absorb carbon dioxide weakens. This means more greenhouse gases remain trapped in the atmosphere, fueling even greater warming. Scientists call it a tipping point, where the Earth system shifts into a new state from which there may be no return. In 2025, signs suggest we are inching dangerously close to crossing several of these thresholds. Arctic sea ice continues to shrink at alarming rates, Greenland's ice sheet is destabilizing, and the Antarctic, once thought to be more resilient, is now shedding ice faster than anyone predicted. These changes do not just raise seas, they alter global currents, threaten weather stability, and destabilize agriculture on land. Yet in the middle of this unfolding disaster, the world continues to burn fossil fuels at near record levels. Emissions from 2024 hit highs that pushed carbon dioxide concentration in the atmosphere past 423 parts per million levels not seen in millions of years. And though renewable energy is growing, it is not growing fast enough to counterbalance the relentless rise in global demand. Humanity is still betting on a future where adaptation will be easier than prevention. But every new record of heat and every new collapse of ecosystems proves the opposite. The longer action is delayed, the narrower the path forward becomes. But this is not just a story of doom. It is also a moment of decision. 2025 could still be remembered not only as the year the oceans sent their loudest warning, but also as the year humanity finally listened. Governments are meeting, pledging, debating, but the truth is that real change requires more than promises. It requires immediate cuts in fossil fuel use, massive investment in clean technologies, and urgent protection of ecosystems that can buffer us from the worst impacts. From mangrove forests to seagrass meadows, nature's defenses are still standing in some places, but only if we act fast enough to keep them alive. Every choice made today echoes into the future. The oceans are not distant, alien worlds. They are our life support system. The air we breathe, the food we eat, the climate stability we depend on, all of it ties back to the water that covers most of this planet. And right now, that system is in crisis. If we ignore it, the consequences will not just be environmental, they will be social, economic, and geopolitical, shaking the very foundations of human civilization. So, as 2025 unfolds, the question is simple. Will humanity treat this year as just another record to file away, or will it finally act like the emergency is real? The oceans are screaming louder than they ever have. The time to choose between collapse and survival is slipping away with every tide. Because the truth is, the oceans don't need us to survive, we need them. And if we don't rise to the challenge, the future generations will inherit a planet where seas are hotter emptier and more violent than anything we have ever known. The warning is clear, the science is undeniable, and the clock is ticking. The only question left is, will we act before the oceans we rely on, the oceans we take for granted, finally turn against us for good? If you care about this planet and believe the world needs to hear the truth about what's happening to our oceans, don't just scroll away. Share this. Talk about it and push for change. Every voice counts. Every action matters. The oceans are fighting for survival. And in the end, so are we.